Okay, John, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, lots to talk about, um, lots of activity going on in the next day or so. Uh, we have, first of all, a couple of players uh, signing extended deals. First of all, goalkeeper Craig Burt, tell yep. us about him. Craig's one who came in last year, um, improved dramatically throughout the year. Obviously, worked, worked hard with our goalie coach, Westy, and, and Cammy Gill, and Sean, and the start of the season in Lee Robinson. Um, I think the biggest thing you can say about Craig is the players all noticed. His improvement it improved so much during the year. Um, did really well. The thing that we struggled with, didn't get enough games because we didn't have our twenties last year. Uh, and maybe only played six, seven games. Did well in the games, um, but we need to see more and more games. But he deserved another year. He's a good kid. Works hard. Um, I said big improvement in him, and that's what we're looking for in a young goalkeeper. Uh, and hopefully he can kick on next year. Between him and Cammy Gill, it yep. seems like we've got a, a healthy future when it yep. comes to goalkeepers. Yeah, no, look, I, I, I'll sing Cammy's praise away. Cammy's a top goalkeeper, and it's a shame because I, I judge all the other goalkeepers that we have coming through against Cammy because I, I, I think he's that good. Um, but Craig came in quite fresh. He wasn't in an academy, he was just floating about, and we picked him up and took a gamble. Um, and he improved, improved big time throughout the season, and hopefully he can kick on. Uh, Brandon Luke as well, signing yep. another year here at East End, so uh, what can you say about him? Obviously Brandon's been in for, for a few years, uh, we decided to, to send him out on loan last year but he was not having the 20s and it was uh, probably a difficult experience for him, he was at Annan on loan at the start of the season, played a lot at the start and then uh, from his own admission didn't play after that, didn't play as well, sorry, came out of the team, found that difficult um, and then went on loan to Cowdenbeath and probably the opposite, didn't start that many and then played quite a lot towards the end. Um, he said, he's there, new experiences, found it tough, found it hard, uh, playing in big games for them towards the end of the season and, and the playoffs. We played the first one and came on the second one. Um, but did well. Uh, and he, he, he's, again, he's one who I think is a brilliant professional, trains really, really well. I think he's got a lot more to give. Um, I think he's probably a late developer in that. And again, he's one that, that I can bring into the group that we're going to have next year, knowing that things are done right and knowing that it can kick on and hopefully do well. Things are going to be different in the yep. upcoming season, aren't they? Because there's the reserve league happening. Yep. Uh, can you flesh out any more details on that at the moment? Yeah, we're getting things all the time. De uh, details, I said at the moment, we know we're going to be in the top reserve league. Um, we think there's going to be um, 18 teams roughly in it, playing each other very once. Um, and then a small cup competition has been, been spoken about as well. It's not finalised yet, but that's what we think it's going to be. Um, and games will be on a Monday or a Tuesday, probably a Monday. Uh, and for others, we'll be up at, at Kelty or, or here at East End. So, um, no, we're looking forward to it. So we're bringing a lot of young boys in from the academy this year. Um, we're building a, a, a group of, of a, a reserve team of, of young players that we've probably not had the last few years. We've brought in small numbers because we're bringing who we think is good enough. Um, but the group they're bringing in here we, we think is good enough and they'll make the kind of bulk of our reserve team next year. Yeah, let's uh, speak a little bit more about that. I think there's about six or seven players coming yep. in from the uh, Fife Academy. They've been playing with the Ray yep. Rovers as well. Yep. They've obviously had a lot of success in yep. their youth team, so yep. they must be excited about getting them on board. No, I'm delighted. Um, there's, there, there's six we're bringing in um, full time from, from the academy. I said, uh, We've had Matty Todd, uh, Josh Robertson, and Gregor Jordan. They've been here since they're 10 or 11. Um, they've played with me with my under 20s. Um, Dougie Coulson's brought them through from the junior academy all the way through to the Grant Petrie and Robert O'Neill in the under 17. So, credit to the academy coaches, they've brought them all the way through and they've had a very, very good season. They've finished top half of the, of the league they're in, the top league, uh, and they've been very strong this season and deserve the, their deals. Uh, Lewis McCann, Lewis Crosby, and Kieran Swanson um, came into our academy slightly later, kind of 14 15. They were they were registered with Wraith Rovers, but obviously they're, they're anybody's players, they're part of the, the, the Fife Academy. So I was obviously watching them, playing with me in friendlies, uh, training with me when we can, uh, and playing for Wraith Rovers in their 20s last year, and I watched a lot of their games, and I think they've got really good quality. Uh, they went down south with me when we went down to Sunderland and, and Newcastle, played a lot of games, and uh, I think they're good players. And the six of them um, will complement each other, uh, and I feel it's a, a really strong group that we're bringing in full time. And finally, it's uh, obviously worth in the summer break now, but it's not really a, a break for you guys. I know there's a lot of activity going on yep. behind the scenes of the club because you, you've still got an important job to do with the first team as yep. well. No, we, we're, we're constantly trying to get guys uh, re-signed first uh, and then looking at the possible guys we can bring in. So no, we're, we're sitting speaking all the time, speaking to players, sat with Alan this morning. Um, 
and we're trying to obviously strengthen our group. I think it's important we try and get guys back that, that we had last year, the, the ones that we think are good enough and uh, and can kick us on and then try and add to the group. You're always looking for better quality. It's difficult because we had a, a decent season last season, but um, we know what we think we know what we have to do to try and get promoted and try and win the league, which has got to be our aim. And hopefully we can bring in the players to do that.